Fighters of the two groups that claimed responsibility for the Belgorod raid, the Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion, held a news conference in a forest clearing in northern Ukraine, near the Russian border on Wednesday. The Russian military said on May 23 it had routed militants who attacked the Russian border region of Belgorod with armored vehicles the previous day, killing more than 70 Ukrainian nationalists and pushing the remainder back into Ukraine. The fighters on Wednesday posed for a vast crowd of assembled reporters brandishing guns and holding the group's banners. Leaders of the group said the Belgorod raid was the first step and they would conduct more incursions into Russian territory in the near future. The groups were set up during Russia's full-scale invasion and attracted Russian volunteer fighters wanting to fight against their own country alongside Ukraine and topple President Vladimir Putin. They're gonna show you their equipment, they're gonna talk to you, they're gonna, it's gonna be kind of briefing part, and after that... Look at the officers, look at the technicians, they tell them what this is the technique, and listen to our time, the time is limited. Their time is limited and they're still on their duty. There is a steel bolt, it's amazing, we proposed it. Of uh, different people, these are this could be like our friends and comrades. Uh, what, 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 what? In the beginning, it was a lot of chaos. We managed to get our hands on AKs. That was obviously like a semi legal situation because we all were volunteers. <laughs> and were you also involved in those famous uh, assassinations like Dugina and others? То есть, по сути дела, чем сильнее мы, да, мощнее, скажем так, заходим на территорию Российской Федерации, тем дольше им нужно времени дорогу там танки в большом количестве они даже толком не могли нам ничего противопоставить просто мы не обладаем какими-то